Praise the Lord. This a message I shared on YouTube and the messages are there on social media about the message God gave me in 209, Central Kenya. And I also shared when I doubted the message and I wondered whether God was really sending me there that I was in a church and I was praying in tongues and then the assistant pastor's wife came to me and said that I was speaking in Kikuyu um, and of course me, I don't come from those regions and I was so shocked. 209, God speaks to me and he tells me that I want you to go and take a message to the central Kenya and particularly to Nyeri because it's the headquarters. I was baffled, dear brethren. I decided I'm not going to tell anybody about this matter. The reason is, I thought I would look crazy. So I said, why, why share with anybody? Let me be just quiet. And let me not even act on it for now. So in this particular season, God gives me an opportunity uh, through a servant of God who has gone to be with the Lord, she had a church here in Westlands. She says, uh, please come and minister in my church on Sunday. I'm going to be away. So I go to the service. I delivered the word. After preaching the word, I told the congregation, stand up, let us pray. When we started praying, I went into tongues. As I was in tongues and we finished, people were praying very vigorously. We finished. Now, the drama began when this pastor's wife comes to me because she knows I didn't know Kikuyu language. She said, when you were praying in tongues after the message, you were speaking Kikuyu. I said, no, you can't be serious. You must be crazy. I asked her, if I spoke Kikuyu, what did I say? She told me, that when you are speaking in tongues, people are praying. Even they thought probably, you know, you know, it was, I think people thought it was a prayer point I was giving them because more than half of that congregation was, were Kikuyus. She said, were you not saying that uh, the message that God has given you to central Kenya, particularly to Nyeri, to go to Nyeri? And she said, not only the message, dear brethren, she quoted the scripture. I said, I also said the scripture in Kikuyu. She said yes. But speaking from that now, I want to tell us that it is really, really, this is really the time for the central region. The reason is last year, the Lord still quickened me that this is the time that I should go back because this is another opportunity. God was also saying that it was his time of visitation and he wanted the central region to prepare. So we started some missions to central regions and because there are five counties, we started going from one to another. Unajua kuna kufanya vitu wakati fulani, lakini wakati waneema, mambo ni tofauti. Amen. Mungu akikupatia neema, vitu ni tofauti kabisa. Saizi ni nakutangazia kwamba kuna hiyo neema ya kufagia hii sentu. It's time to allow life. Let's not celebrate death. The Bible says he abolished death. Let's not accept death. Not physical, not spiritual. Not death of souls, death of backsliding, death of apostasy, no death. We command this land yes. to accept, yes. to celebrate yes. the purposes of God, yes. the churches of God, yes. the altars of God, yes. the servants of God, yes. to totally give her strength yes. to the people of God, yes. the resources, yes. the strength, yes. everything yes. you add, you soil of Nyandarwa, may you now celebrate the people of God. Yes. The altars of God. Yes. The work of God. Yes. The gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. May you embrace. Yes. May you accept. Yes. May you take in. Yes. That which is of God. Yes. And may you give support. Yes. And help. Yes. To that which is of God. Yes. The God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Yes. 
So Lord, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, right now I pour this oil. Rebo karabo koroso to robo korobo koroso korobo. Rebo robo 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 robo. I have seen a vision, and that vision is the flag of Nyamdar was leaning down, and suddenly I saw it being lifted up. Yeah. Hallelujah. That means restoration. It means the county was down. Yes. But God, I have seen the Lord lifting up the flag. The flag is flying again. There is restoration for Nyandarwa. One thing I'm seeing, an inscription above, not even in the, on the flag itself, but above, I'm seeing Jesus is Lord. That, hey. That means Jesus has reigned in Nyandarwa. He has reigned in Nyandarwa. There is something happening in Nyandarwa. This is the night. We are speaking into the land. We are speaking into the nation. We are speaking into your family. We are speaking into families. We are speaking into lives tonight. Hallelujah. We speak laughter. We speak singing. We speak rejoicing. I shared the first message, which was to the sons, because the, the Lord said that, go and tell them that they need to cry for their sons. Listen, listen. I hear something. Oh, I hear something. Central Kenya. Come here, Anastasia. Come here. The Holy Spirit is saying, mothers have cried in this county so much. Actually, you're not caring for yourself. Mothers have grown for their sons, for their children. These are mothers whose children have been so wayward, drunkards. They have been crying to God and saying, have we given birth to where? To waste? What's our... <laughs> this is the cry of mothers. This is the cry of mothers. This is the cry of mothers. <laughs> they are saying, will we be giving birth to nothing, to wasted, to alcoholics, <laughs> to useless? This is the cry of the mothers. Shut up. <laughs> the cry of their womb saying we have carried, what have we carried? I've come before God. God is going to heal the grace of intercession has also been poured into the county. The grace of wailing. The grace of travailing. Receive it. Resist the devil and he will flee from. We must resist him steadfastly in faith, in confidence. Tuko. Tuko. Tuko, hallelujah, hallelujah. All the things that we are complaining about, we are saying that all oh, things have been like this in Kiambu, things have been, there is a force behind it. When we submit to God through repentance, humbling ourselves, then we have all the confidence to resist the devil and command him out of Kiambu and the shall flee. If you've ever had suicide in your family, just lift up your hand, Suicide. All of you come. I hear you are the contact point for the deliverance, even for the people in Kiambu. I hear about three people who have tried this thing. Yeah, as you are here, I didn't know about this, but I had the pain in her is for three people. Nobody, my sister, will die again. I tell you. The Gentiles shall see your righteousness. Amen. 
and all kings to your glory. Amen. You shall be called by a new name. Amen. Which the mouth of the Lord will name. Amen. We declare that the mouth of the Lord has named. Amen. It is now officially Hebrew. Remember the dates are 28 to 30th of April this month and it shall be at Gospel Outreach Assembly. It shall be from Thursday 4 p.m. Friday shall be 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And on Saturday it shall be 9 to 5 p.m. The line to his purpose even this time and the move of God shall spark off and shall star off and it shall be great. God bless you. Pastor Sobeyuri. Claren Call Prayer and Revival Movement with Pastor Sube Yuri in collaboration with Nyeri Spiritual Gatekeepers and other Gospel Ministers invite you to the Nyeri Prayer Mission, the three-day interdenominational meeting led by Pastor Sube Yuri from Nairobi will be held at Gospel Outreach Church, Nyeri Town, starting on the 28th of April this year from 4 p.m. On Friday and Saturday, the meeting will start at 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. The theme of the mission is from Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1. God is doing a great thing in the central region, so be part of it. All are welcome at the Gospel Outreach Church, Nyeri.